This is a Citroen Berlingo 1.6 HDI VTR Estate. It's a five door 2011 on an 11 plate. Two owners from new. Um, it's done 101,350 miles. It has a full service history and it's a seven seater model, which is quite unusual. I've sold quite a lot of these and I think this is probably the first seven seater I've had. Um, it's MOT'd until the 29th of July 2018. The fuel economy figures 45.6 urban, 58.9 extra urban, and 53.3 combined, so pretty economical. Uh, plenty of space in the vehicle. 14.3 seconds 0 to 60 on 100 miles an hour top speed out of a 90 brake horsepower engine. The car has been maintained by a, a garage called Albion Mills Garage, and uh, I'll just show you the service history. It's uh, right from new, 2012 at 13,638, 2013 at 27,091, 2013 in October again, 40,279, um, over here, 16th of 6, 2014, 54,260, and then 12th of 2nd, 2015, 65,829, 30th of the 9th, 2015, 78164. And then if I can just separate them pages. 12th of the 12th, 2016, 93725. And uh, 9th of the 1st, 2018, 104. Please don't park there. <coughs> 9th, 9th of the 1st, 2018 at uh, 100,436. 100, um, I'll just take you for a ride in it. If I can get out. While we're just waiting for him to move, we've got uh, plenty of storage space above the driver here. Cup holders in the door pockets. You've got uh, front central well it's not an armrest, you've got front central armrest here, you've got centre console there with a load of uh, spacing, some other cubby holes there, I'm not sure what you would get in there, certainly uh, nothing you didn't mind spilling. Electric windows, remote central locking, I think we have two keys for it. Um, The side doors or the rear doors, they slide, they don't open like so. So uh, easy enough to get out in car parks and load. Nice and economical and you can get plenty of stuff in. The rear seats, the, the back row of two rear seats, um, you can take those out completely. It's a real bright car, this. It's a, it's a nice bright blue metallic paint. It's got um, sort of contrasting upholstery. It's cloth, blue on the outside of the bolsters and a grey centre panel with a, a blue sort of pattern in the middle. Pretty much all like new. A couple of little ring marks on the door handle there, but uh, none on the passenger side. Um, Steering wheels like new, no wear. Clutch is nice and light, gearbox easy. We've got a kind of oddman's cup there, stroke ashtray I would assume. Power socket, locking. rolling about somewhere but I'm not sure where it is. No doubt I'll find that. Just need to go back a bit further.
I like these uh, Berlingos and I have sold a few of them but then again I like the Fiat Multipler as well so uh, there's no accounting for taste but certainly for a practical vehicle I don't think you'd get anything much better Also, one thing I always like is we pretty much would buy back any cars that we sell. Um, the chap or the couple that bought this, when they were going to part exchange it, the previous garage they bought it from offered to buy it back. So that would tell me that they, they wouldn't buy it back if they thought it was going to be trouble, so that's a good sign. And we liked it anyway, so. Um, We, uh, we took it in part exchange. But we didn't have to, so that means we think it's a good car as well. Just been serviced, uh, January 2018, I think it was. It was MO'd, in, MOT'd until July, but uh, we'd have that done again, so it would come out with a new 12 months MOT. Even though it's only just been serviced, we still take everything for a ride as soon as it comes in, just to make sure everything's running okay and there's, uh, there's nothing that uh, untowards that you probably won't find just on a ramp check over. And also, What on earth are you doing? Green light obviously means drive slower. Wait, oh. And breathe. So, as I was saying, the chap that's part exchanged this has bought another Citroen Bolingo, so that's another good sign. And he has a place in Spain, and he's bought it to drive out to Spain. So I'm assuming that uh, they're pretty comfortable. I've not driven one a, a long distance, but uh, this chap uh, is obviously comfortable with doing that. Put the motorway. We've got a CD radio. We've got your electric window controls there. And just what I needed. supercharged van there. Electric door mirrors. Just check those. Yep, that's uh, all working okay. Passenger one. Yep, that's fine too. Wipe is good, rear wash wipe good too. So, just going slightly above what I should be there. 70 miles an hour, two and a half thousand revs. Nice and smooth. 
pretty quiet, no noise. Very tiny vehicle. It's very comfortable. The seats are great, hold you in place, the armrest, great addition. Showing 44 miles to a gallon. Average speed there, date. And uh, 109 miles left before I need to fill up. It's instantaneous miles to the gallon there. Great if you could get 999 miles to the gallon, wouldn't it? No doubt one day we will. vehicle especially if you've got uh, more kids than I was going to say more kids than you'd like it's probably not the right uh, phrasing um, more than 2.4 children
here we are back at the garage very nice to drive 